In this video, I'll show you how to control two RC cars with a single controller. Let's not waste time and see our configuration for our devices. This is our transmitter controller. It uses the MSP430 launchpad and NRF24 L01 Plus transceiver module. I will not go into the details of this setup since it's exactly the same with the one in our DIY RC car video. This is our first RC car. This one is also the same with the setup in the DIY RC car video. In addition to the two DC motors, you can control two servos mounted on it, but these are optional. This car is not using PWM, so the enabled pins on the motor driver are connected to 5V with jumpers. This one is the second RC car. You can see the making of this one in my mini RC car Arduino video. This one doesn't have servos on it and the D9 and D10 pins are connected to enable pins on the motor driver. But I'm using a constant value for the PWM. If you want, you can change it as a variable obtained from the receiver. Now let's see how we'll configure our devices to work together. This is our controller. These are our RC cars. However, let's remember the one car scenario and continue. The controller was using MSP430 and NRF24 L01 Plus module, which is this one mounted on the PCB. You can see it in red right now. And our first car was using Arduino and again NRF24 L01 Plus module. And for these two transceivers to communicate with each other, we were giving transmit and receive addresses to them. And we were setting both of them to 00001 address, which can actually be any five ASCII characters. And the same configuration was done on the receiver side. Transmit and receive address is going to be 00001. While both addresses were the same, our infinite loop in the controller was first getting the converted ADC values. Let's see it in here once again. Both of our addresses are the same. And the infinite loop says that first get the converted ADC values from the joystick and the potentiometers and send them as a payload to the receiver. And that was it. So this was the end of our loop. And this was our communication mode from transmit to receive. Now let's see the addressing when we add the second RC car and the second receiver, let's say. Let's assume that the transmitter and the first car transmit and receive addresses stay the same as 0001. So if we set 0001 to RC car, will it work? No, definitely it will not work. There is no way that we can control any of these cars in this configuration. So instead, we'll give the second car another address, say 2 or 002ND for second or some other code. Let's say we are going to set it to 2. Let's see our updates on transmitter code. The loop will be like this. Again, we'll do the ADC conversion to get the joystick and potentiometer values. And then we'll set the address of our transmitter to the first RC car's address, which is 00001 in this case, and then send the payload. This will be our first block in the loop. And then we are going to set the address to the second car's address, which is 00002 in this case and then send the payload again. So with a very small delay at the levels of microseconds, we'll send the same payload to RC cars. Now let's check our codes. First, the control and code composer studio for MSP430. 90% of this code is the same with the previous one. You can see the register values here. The only difference is we have these two addresses. First one is 00001 and the second one is 25. Actually, we had mentioned it as 02 in the previous section, but it doesn't matter. You can see that in the main function, we are setting the registers values, which are the same for two RC cars. And in the while one loop, we take the ADC conversion values, and then we set the RX and TX addresses to the same address, which is the first RC cars address. 
and then we send the payload and this is the flashing the transmit FIFO side at the end of this we are finished with the first RC car so switching to the second RC car we again set the RX and TX values these are the address 2 values so this is the 25 value and we are sending the payload once again and again flashing the TX and finishing the communication with the second RC car the rest of the code is the same with our previous example This is the Arduino sketch for the second RC car. You can see the address as 00025 as well. And I set the PWM to 120. The reason for this value is to make the two RC cars rotate and move as similar as possible. You saw that the two cars chassis are not the same. That's why the movement of both cars will be different. You can modify this value according to your own RC cars. The rest of the code is very easy describing the four movement directions. And if you look at the code for our first RC car, you'll see that the address is set to 00001 and we have two servos attached to this one. The rest of the code is the same. Let's remind once again, this one doesn't use PWM. The DC motors go at full speed. Thank you.